Hey guys, it's Jacqueline, and today I thought it would be fun if I filmed a get ready with me. I'm actually about to head out, so I thought it would be fun if I did my hair and my makeup with you guys. So let's get started. So I'm just going to start off by taking this Essence Say No to Redness. It's like a little uh, corrector pen. And I'm just going to draw on any of like the red blemishes that I have on my skin. My skin has been such a pain recently, the last couple of months especially. So I started using this product um, with benzoyl peroxide in it, which I haven't used like benzoyl peroxide or like any medicated like skincare things in a while. And my skin reacted really badly to it. It was so like sensitive and sore and it didn't even clear up my breakouts. So I'm back to using my regular Lush Dark Angels and Celestial Moisturizer, which I really like. I think sometimes I forget that I'm just a teenager and I'm going to have breakouts and my skin isn't going to be perfect. So I just have to kind of like accept that. So until my skin clears up, I've just been using tons of color correcting makeup products, like this Essence one is really nice. I also have a palette from um, Studio 10 that has like the green color corrector in it, which I really like that one too. So it just kind of helps like neutralize the redness, and I normally find that this is a good way to start, um, start your makeup. So next, I'm gonna go in with some under eye concealer. This is the Clarins Instant Eye Concealer. I always go back to this concealer, I just think it's really great. So over the past few months, I've been trying to wear contacts because I have glasses and I don't wear them like all the time. I really only need them for like driving or like reading something. Um, it's not, they're not too bad, but I do have to wear them sometimes. So I've been trying to wear contacts just because sometimes glasses can get annoying and, oops, what did I just do? Um, sometimes glasses can just get annoying. So for the past couple of months, I need a brush, what am I doing? So over the past couple of months, I've been trying to wear contacts, but I am really weird about like eyeballs. Like I have no problem doing makeup on them or putting makeup like in them or around them. But as soon as like I see like an irritated eye or an eye that's crying, like I can't help it, but my eyes like start to cry and it like makes my eyes water and I just, I can't deal with it. So for the past couple of months, I've been trying to wear them, but whenever I like put the contact in, my eye starts watering and then I get like freaked out by it and I can't do it, and then I'm afraid that the contact's gonna get stuck in. So I haven't been able to like successfully wear them for like at least two or three months now. But today, I'm um, not trying to brag, but I put my contacts in today and I'm pretty proud about it. And um, I can see, which is very nice. So the makeup look that I'm gonna go for tonight, I'm gonna do a pretty full coverage like foundation and base. And I'm gonna do a little bit of some false lashes and it's gonna be pretty neutral, I think, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go pretty glam, I think. Um, I'm actually going out tonight the TV show that I've been working on for the last like six months It actually wrapped last weekend, so we've got a wrap party tonight, and it's like so bittersweet like obviously I'm excited um, That we're like done and it was a bunch of fun But I mean of course it's like sad that it's all over and um, it's sad to like say goodbye to everyone So that's where I'm headed out tonight. I'm gonna do my hair. I think like curly I actually have some extensions. that I think I'm gonna throw in I don't normally wear extensions, but once in a while. It's kind of fun. So I'm just using my uh, Real Techniques buffing brush, which I always go back and forth between using this brush and my Beauty Blender, but I kind of felt like just using this one today. So tonight I was gonna wear like this cute little dress and some heels because we've been having like really good um, weather lately and it's been pretty warm out. It feels like springtime almost. Um, but then last night we had like extreme weather warnings and it was like blizzarding, blizzarding, is that a word? It's been blizzarding, it blizzarded. We had a blizzard last night, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, and it's so cold out, everything's like white, and it's like back in the negative degrees. So I don't think that dress is going to be happening tonight, but um, I'll figure something out. And speaking of spring, I mean it's not technically spring, I think spring counts as like April, but I'm going to call it spring. Um, I did some spring cleaning over the weekend, which felt very nice. I went through like all my makeup and in my closet, and I did like a big purge and donation, and got rid of a bunch of things that I don't use or wear and it felt so good. So I think a makeup collection or like a beauty stash kind of um, video is gonna come soon because everything is nice and clean. And I finally have it set up in a way that like I'm happy with it and it's nice and organized and I can finally see what I have. So that might be coming soon if you guys wanna see that. Okay, I think I buffed that into my skin more than enough. I'm just gonna go over um, some blemishes with the NARS Creamy Concealer. There's still a couple of spots that are just poking through a little bit. And I'm just going to use this little flat top kabuki brush from Sigma to blend that out. Okay, I'm just going to set everything in place with this Makeup Forever translucent powder. And actually, I saw someone use the other day a damp, oops, what am I dropping? 
Um, I saw someone use a damp beauty blender the other day to set um, to set under their eyes, and I never tried that before, and I've been doing that the past couple of days, and it actually works really good. I thought like the wet beauty blender was just gonna make the product really weird, but for some reason, it's been working really nicely, and it really just packs like the product there so nothing creases and budges. For a little bit of bronzer, I'm just gonna use my NARS uh, Laguna bronzer, and I'm gonna take this Morphe brush. This one's actually really cool. It's kind of like, perfect one for like contouring. So I'm just going to do a little bit of um, bronzer in the cheekbones with a light hand. Whenever I'm kind of like contouring or bronzing up my cheeks a little bit, I like to drag the color upward a bit because when you think about it, when you're contouring, you're trying to create that illusion of like that round kind of cheekbone that sinks in. So it doesn't really make sense to just draw this like harsh line. So try to like blend it upwards and kind of create that illusion of like that round kind of uh, shape. I find that normally works out a bit better, so it's not as harsh. Ugh, I know I should have talked about my contacts because now I feel like they're bugging me. Sometimes I find if I just think about it too much, I can like feel them more and then my eyes start to water because it's weird and I don't know. They are kind of weird to get used to, like you're putting something on your eyeball, right? I'm just gonna take whatever I have left over just down like the sides of my noses, my noses? Side of my nose. <laughs> What's wrong with me? And then again, to blend, I'm just going to kind of pull it down a little bit. I'm actually going to take a little bit of a fluffier brush as well, just to kind of um, bronze like my temples and forehead. I'm just going to pop a little bit under like my jawline and drag that down. I remember when I first started getting into makeup, like bronzer was like my favorite thing ever. And I would always go so like overboard with the bronzer. And I mean, I still love bronzer, but I just found that using a lighter hand and really working the product into the skin tends to get a much nicer result. So now that my face has some dimension into it, I'm going to take a blush. I've really been loving these kind of colors for blushes recently. It's kind of like a, a dark plummy, more of like a plummy kind of red color, which I normally thought that like this type of color wouldn't work on me, but I've really been loving them recently. I find them very subtle and um, really flattering. See how it just kind of gives you a little bit more of like a rosy, healthy glow? So moving on, I'm going to take some highlighter. I'm just going to take the Becca highlighter in Opal. And this one is so, so pretty. I love using this for like eyeshadow and highlighter. So I'm just going to take that on a bit of a tapered brush and I'm just going to pop that on the tops of my cheeks. Oh, it's just so pretty. I love highlighter. I remember I used to always be so scared of them because I thought it would make me look like oily and shiny and really greasy. I don't know. Um, but they're just give you such a healthy glow and it just really pulls together I find like the whole cheek look. Ugh, love this one too, this is a great highlighter. Okay, so I'm gonna do brows next. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and I'm gonna grab um, a thin kind of angled brush. I'm using this one here, it's the MAC 266. And I'm just gonna follow like the natural shape of my eyebrow. I'm just gonna kind of define that a bit more. I find with the pomade, you wanna start with less on your brush than you think and then build it up because with this product, it's super easy to go overboard quickly. So I normally just like to start at the bottom of my eyebrow. And I find that it looks the most natural too if it's like darker towards the bottom. So I'm just going to kind of draw that line and then kind of fan it upwards. And another little tip, I always use the lid of the product to like use it as like a palette almost and wipe some off and take some from there. So I always like to do that. Okay, so I think I'm happy with this eyebrow now. You can really see what a huge difference it makes though, eh? And I sometimes I find that I have to like tell myself that that's enough because I can really go overboard quickly with eyebrows. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw the line there. That's gonna be the end of that one. Next, I'm gonna move on to eyes. I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Priming Potion. I find that this is just like my favorite way to start any eye look. It just really locks any product you put on top in place. And it doesn't move all night, which is perfect. I have a couple of eyelash extensions actually left over. They lasted so well. I had them for over two months and um, just yesterday or actually yesterday? No, two days ago. Um, I soaked them in like coconut oil and kind of removed the leftover ones because I found just after like the two month mark, my right eye um, was losing them a lot quicker because that's the side like I sleep on at night. So um, there was only like a few on this eye and this one was still pretty full. So I was like, I think it's about time to kind of just remove them. So I soaked them in coconut oil for a little bit and then just kind of like gently massage them off. But some of them are still hanging on. There's about like maybe 10 on this eye and maybe like five on this side. They just wouldn't come off. So my eyelashes are still a little bit wonky, but that's okay. 
So to start the eye look, I'm going to take this Charlotte Tilbury Cream Eyeshadow. I've been loving these recently. I have them in two different colors. And they're just like the most beautiful things ever. They have this amazing like shimmery, wet kind of glossy look when you're, um, when you're done applying them. They're just beautiful. So I'm going to take this Duo Fiber brush here. This one's from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to put that all over the lid. So I'm just going to kind of press that into the lid. And then once the eyeshadow is all packed where I want it, I'm just going to kind of lightly blend that out into the crease. And then I'm just going to take whatever I have left over and kind of just run that on the lower lash line. So for my eyeshadows, I'm just going to take the original Naked palette. I feel like this is all I use in my videos, but this is like genuinely what I use all the time. So I feel kind of annoying since this is all I show you guys. But um, it's a really great palette and it always has the colors that I'm looking for. Where is the brush I want? So I'm just going to take um, a flat shader brush here. And I'm going to take um, a bit of Half Baked and Smog. And I'm just going to kind of mix that all over the lid. I'm gonna focus half baked on the like center um, and in a corner of my eye, and then kind of fade to the darker color smog on the outer um, on the outer third of my eye. Then I'm gonna take a clean fluffy blending brush and just kind of blend all that together so that way there's no harsh lines. Then with like a larger kind of pencil brush, I'm gonna take that into Buck, the darker matte color, and I'm just gonna focus that on the outer third and just kind of blend that into my crease. So that way we can transition from like the shimmery lid to the brow bone. Then I'm going to take this eyeshadow here from Makeup Forever. It's just like a really nice matte flesh tone yellowy kind of color. And I'm just going to pop that on another shader brush and put that right on my brow bone. It's also a really good way to kind of clean up any mistakes that you might have made. You can just kind of drag this down a bit lower if you brought your crease color too high or anything like that. And then I'm just going back in with a blending brush and I'm just going to blend that all together. Um, next I'm going to take this black gel eyeliner and I'm just going to take a little bit of that on a palette knife and I'm just going to do a little bit of a baby wing. I just want to have a little bit of a liner just so I can hide the false lashes in because I'm going to be doing those next. Okay, I couldn't talk during like any of that because that required like intense concentration. Okay, now I'm just going to do some lashes, and I have a couple of pairs here. Which ones do I want? Okay, I think I'm going to go with the, um, the less intense ones. Okay, lashes are on. Time for mascara. I'm just going to do a black waterproof mascara over top. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to pop on a lip color. And normally I would go for like a pinky nude, but today I'm going to change it up. It is still like a neutral, I guess, but it's this really cool gray color. It's from Gerard Cosmetics, and it's the shade Underground. And it's kind of like this dead, purpley gray. It's really interesting, but I think it'll be fun for tonight. So that is how the lip color looks. It's really interesting, eh? It's kind of like a gray, purpley dead kind of color. I don't know, I think it's really fun. Um, so there is the makeup for tonight. Let me go get my hair stuff set up and we can start doing my hair. Okay, so I just curled my hair and I just used this curling wand. This is the Infinity by Conair. This is like the U Curl curling wand. It's so good. I've had it since I was like 12 years old. So it's lasted me like six years and it's honestly the best thing ever. I can't find anything that works nearly as good or better. Um, and it's relatively inexpensive too. I'm pretty sure when I bought it, it was like 20 or $25 from like the grocery store. I think now it's maybe like $35, $40 from like the grocery store or like Walmart. Um, so it's pretty like accessible and easy to get. Definitely would recommend this. They also have like a larger size as well, and I'm kind of interested in maybe getting that as well. But I have so many other curling wands and curling irons, I can't really justify it. But like I said, nothing is as good as this one, and nothing lasts as long as this one. So I just curled my hair like I normally do with that, and I put a little bit of product in my hair. I put this um, sea salt spray in it a bit beforehand, and I did a little bit of this Orbe dry texturizing spray. Just because my hair is very naturally silky and straight, and if I don't put any like product inside, it won't hold the curl very well, and it'll just kind of fall flat. I am going to put some hair extensions in as well. I have these ones here. These ones are from Irresistible Me. And these ones are in the shade medium brown and these are 22 inches long. What I like about extensions is that it gives me more volume and obviously like more hair to play around with. Um, so it doesn't really give me too much length. These are pretty much like the exact same length of my hair. The color match is actually pretty good for my natural hair color. I find my hair naturally kind of fades and gets a bit lighter towards the end. But for the most part, this is a pretty good match and I normally can get away with wearing these ones. So I've just kind of pre-curled a bunch of pieces from there. So I am just going to section off my hair and clip those guys in. 
Okay, so now I've got all of those clipped in and I feel like I've got a whole new head of hair. So I think in terms of like color, these actually blend in pretty good. I mean, like I said, I think my natural hair color is a bit lighter than these, but I don't think it's too bad. It's not bad enough that I'm not gonna wear it out. They're definitely fun to wear like once in a while. Like I said, I don't really wear these too often, but every time I put them back in, I just am reminded how fun they are. Um, I think I kind of want to do a braid in my hair. I think it would look kind of fun if I did like two little baby braids in the front. Hmm. Ah, let's do it. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna leave the one braid on the one side. I kind of like how it's off balance and it's not super matchy-matchy. So this is the final hair for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you had fun getting ready with me. I think it is about time, what time is it? Yes, it's about time that I wrap things up and I head out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!